Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the process of taking your local dev site created with desktop server and deploying it to a live WP Engine site. Before you begin, it's important to note that this process will wipe out your current WP Engine site, so we highly recommend that you create any necessary backups for an easy rollback in the event you run into any issues. The first thing you will want to do, if you have not already done so, is create your WP Engine domain and note the URL. In this case, I have created desktopserver.wpengine.com. You will notice here that I have created a standard website on our new WP Engine domain utilizing the 2013 theme. And here I have created the local dev site that I would like to deploy to the live WP Engine server. Once you have created your WP Engine domain, log into its WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, and do a search for Desktop Server. Download and activate this plugin in order to allow for Desktop Server to interact with the live domain. At this point, open up your copy of Desktop Server, start Apache and MySQL services if the option appears, and select Export, Import, or Share a website, then click Next. Select the middle option to export or deploy a WordPress website, then click Next. Choose the local dev website that you would like to deploy and enter the name of the live WP Engine domain in the Export As field. Be sure to select the Export to a Website Archive zip file option and then click Next. In this step, we will download the database details from the live server in order to create our WP config file. If you already know these details, you can enter them manually, or you can choose to fetch the live hosting server details from the server. In order to do this, you will need to know an admin username and password for your WordPress installation on WP Engine. Because we downloaded the desktop server plugin, we are able to fetch these details here. Click on the Fetch Live Hosting Server Details and enter your admin username and password. As you see here, should you put in the wrong username and password, you will get an error. Once you have entered the proper WordPress admin login credentials, Desktop Server will populate the fields for you automatically. Once this has been done, click Next. In this step, we will be setting up the name of the archive along with its storage location, whether or not you wish to have the site crawled by search engines, as well as determining whether or not you would like to customize the scrubbing options. Scrubbing is a powerful feature within Desktop Server that goes through all of your files and database and replaces your dev URL with the live URL. This not only includes your database entries, but any static URL entries as well. In most cases, customizing your scrubbing options is not necessary, but for this video, I am going to select the option to customize the options in order to demonstrate the entries that might need to be changed. Upon clicking Next, Desktop Server analyzes your files and displays a list of what it has determined to be the best search and replace options. If you notice that it is missing a dev to be replaced with your wpengine.com URL, you can manually add it here. In most cases, you should not need to do anything here. If you did not select the customized scrubbing option, Desktop Server automatically moves on to the next step in the process of creating the archive. At this point, Desktop Server is creating your archive zipped file. This can take anywhere from seconds to minutes depending on how many files you have as well as the size of your database. Once this process is complete, you will have a fully functional archive file of your local dev with all of the URLs replaced with the proper WP Engine URL. Now that you have created your archive file, you will want to open up the directory in which you stored your archive and extract it to a location of your choosing on your hard drive. Alternatively, you can simply extract the database.sql file only as the WP content directory within the archive will be identical to that of your local dev site. For this demonstration, however, we will be extracting the complete archive file. Open up your favorite file transfer program and log into your WP Engine site. Go to the WP content directories on both your local site and your live WP Engine site, select the files and directories you would like to transfer, and send. 
Please note that because WP Engine utilizes its own caching, you will not want to upload any caching plugins or directories that you might have installed in the event that you are transferring the site from a live host in which you did have caching installed to the WP Engine site as seen here. It is even more important to note here that if you utilize the complete extraction method when opening your archive that you do not transfer your database.sql file up to the live host through your file transfer program, as this can pose a serious security risk. While your WP content directory is being transferred, open your WP Engine dashboard and select PHP My Admin in the left-hand sidebar menu. Once PHP My Admin is open, select the database associated with your live WordPress installation by clicking on it. Typically, the database you will want to select will start with WP underscore. Once you have opened your database, click on the Import button on the top menu, then browse to the location where you have stored your database.sql file on your local drive. Select the database.sql file and click Open. Once you have done this, click Go and WP Engine will begin the process of importing the database. It is important to know here that your current live database will be completely wiped out and replaced with the new database. If you are importing a large database, you might get a script timeout passed error. Should this occur, repeat the import process of the same file and it will pick up where it left off on the import. It is possible that you will have to repeat this step several times until the database has been completely imported. This is due to WP Engine's timeout period, not because of desktop server. Now that your database is imported, we can check on our file transfer progress. Once complete, you have successfully transferred your site. Many times, as demonstrated here, a refresh of the site does not bring up the newly deployed website. This is usually due to the fact that the table prefix within the wp-config.php file does not match. This is easily remedied by editing the wp-config file on your live site to reflect the same table prefix as that of your local site. In the case here, our table prefix on the local site was set to WPNT underscore. However, the live site contained the default of WP underscore. Once changed, as shown here, the newly deployed site will appear. As a last step, it is always a good idea to reset your permalinks. That's it. You've now deployed your site to WP Engine. Thanks for watching this video and we hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop us a line at info at serverpress.com or visit us at www.serverpress.com.